take 293. <laughs> hey guys, it's Joe Ingalls here. I'm sitting here with my wife, Renee Ingalls, who was lucky enough to be nominated for two VIS awards. A very big congratulations for winning the Sarah Tate Spirit Award. Um, how does it feel? Oh, honestly, just to be even nominated for an award like this at the Victorian Institute of Sport is obviously really special, especially the Sarah Tate Award. Um, I first walked into the Victorian Institute of Sport 17, 18 years ago, long which is a very ago. long time ago. The VIS has seen quite a lot of changes since then, obviously. So it was pretty cool going back into that environment the last 18 months to two years. Um, yeah, and I was pretty chuffed to even be nominated, let alone win it. So... A huge thank you to all of those who <laughs> gave the tick next to my name. <laughs> One of the interesting things is I've done a few of these VIS sessions that um, you netballers do. Um, <laughs> not as breezy as I thought they would be um, in my off season, but how did you manage to maintain a VIS spirit, so to say? Good question, actually. That's what I do. Hmm. Um, Oh, I'd obviously have to say that, like, training for the Melbourne Vixens is motivation in itself. And yeah, I, I got some of those. I was uh, <laughs> goalkeeper a few sessions. That's true. And uh, Bill can definitely support me that he didn't do as well as the netballers in the running sessions. Definitely sweated ten times more. Um, but, no, it was obviously really easy to stay motivated with the Vixens girls in what was a really tough year off court for us as a family. So to feel so supported by the Melbourne Vixens and the VIS is, I guess, what kept me going. Obviously, some big thank yous. Um, firstly, again, for nominating me for this award and then for me being lucky enough to win it. Um, a really big thank you to Anne-Marie, uh, Bill, Dave and all of the staff and team at the Victorian Institute of Sport for welcoming, welcoming me back in with open arms um, and always seeing a smile on all of your faces whenever I run into you in the gym or a corridor or in the VIS car park. So a huge thank you to all of you. Special mention to JT and Jamie um, for all of your work that you did for me, both on and off the court and managing an athlete from overseas and then back in the country, in and out all of the time, I know would not be any easy feat. So I really, really appreciate your support, your constant communication and just encouragement of me both on and off the court. Um, obviously a big thank you to um, Rebecca Webster, Simone McInnes, um, all of the support staff at the Melbourne Vixens. Um, having the opportunity to come back in and get a Melbourne Vixens contract and then be part of the Victorian Institute of Sport again is something pretty special and it's a pretty awesome way to end my career, um, if I'm being honest. A huge thank you to everyone who is part of the VIS, who has welcomed me back in, um, my Melbourne Vixens teammates, obviously, who made this all worthwhile and why I decided to do all of this and play again. So I'm really, really humbled and really, really grateful to win an award like this. So thank you, everyone. I'm sorry I couldn't be there tonight, but hope you're enjoying the night. Cheers.